Hello, my friends. Welcome back. It is Thursday, April 4th, 2024. And the drunk poker tis beer time. Um, so I closed tonight. It's like a little after nine. I've been home oh, 20 minutes. So you get home and say hi to Mrs. Polk and the boys. And then you come downstairs and you're going to have a beer. And then you go, yeah, I forgot about this at the LCBO the other day. From the LCBO. I believe this is the same brewery that owns Amsterdam now, is it not? It's brewed in Toronto. It was a Danish beer. Facts. Just the facts, man. 10%. Malt liquor. Quality extra strong beer. This is 410 at the LC. A 10% beer, it's 410. I mean, it's got a job to do. Let's see if it can do it. Son of a bitch, eh? I was buying a bunch of German beers, some Poliners, and we'll get into those this weekend. I bought three of them, and I bought some Canadian beers. And then I saw this, and I'm like, 410 for 10% beer? Sign me the fuck up. <laughs> Malt liquor! I don't know. I guess it's like a strong lager. Just the facts! I don't know. Oh. Like, oh, it smells like... Like, you can smell, you can smell the corn. Like, pear? I don't know. All right, cheers. Fuck. Oh. Holy fuck. <laughs> um, wow. It... Um, <laughs> it's strong. You know you're drinking 10%. It's, um, corny. Very much corn, boozy, not even really bitter. Ugh. Ugh. Like, this isn't as bad as that Burlington Brewery beer. Still not that bad, but this is not good. But, if you need to get somewhere... Like, if here's sober, here's drunk, and this is 410 a can, you know. Sometimes things get better on the second sip. This does not. I've had strong lagers, and I love a good, like, 7 8% lager. Holy, just, yes, please. Corny, um, very malty. Heavily malted, but not in a good way. Um, it's not even like it's 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 hot on the end, but it's not like a warm, like a, a nice feeling. Like you kind of hate yourself a little bit when you drink it, but you're like it's ten percent. It's only four bucks. Like I, you can get hammered for twenty bucks, and and that appeals to some people. And I'm not taking that away from them. You know, everybody always talks about the people who choose not to drink and. We support that 100%. You know, you want to drink non-alcoholic beer? Damn right. Fucking A. But if you want to have five beers and get, you know, drunk as shit, just the facts. 20 bucks. Sorry, $20.50. Like five of these would probably knock you on your ass pretty good. And I support that. Like, the D-Gen inside me, we, we experienced that this summer, but the D-Gen inside me supports nonsense drinking sometimes. And if you do it safely, like at home. Like, you shouldn't go out in public and drink, like, five, six of these. Like, six of these, so under 25 bucks, get six of these, and just fucking hate yourself in the morning. I don't like myself right now. That's not good. That's fucking horrible. <laughs> All right, anyways, there you go. I, I got I got some turn moon I'm gonna have because this cannot be my only beer T today. It was gonna be, it cannot be now. Cheers. I don't even know if I can finish it. I think I have to. But again, if you don't like a beer, pour it the fuck out. That's fine. Like don't don't drink beers you don't. But I kind of want to see how I feel after it. Ah. Uh, Things we do for science.